MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 35 Derive an expression for center of mass. A scientist with mass M is sitting on one end of a lifeboat of uniform density with a mass of 3M. When he spots a rescue chopper in the distance, he walks a distance L to the other side of the boat to wave for help. Which of the following statements best characterizes the motion of the lifeboat? Is it A, the lifeboat shifts by the same distance traverse, but in the opposite direction of his motion? Is it B, the lifeboat shifts by L over four in the opposite direction of the scientist's motion? Is it C, the lifeboat shifts in the same direction as the scientist's motion with constant velocity? Or D, the lifeboat does not shift forward or backward as a result of the scientist's motion. I'll give you a moment to think through the correct answer choice. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, let's discuss the solution. Okay, so this not, might not be um, apparent to a lot of people, but this question is really a test of um, center of mass. And the formula for center of mass is somewhat reminiscent of the equation for the conservation of momentum for totally inelastic collisions, okay? But instead of V, um, we replace the Vs with Xs. That's distance travel and half distance travel, okay? So what we're going to do is find the center of mass for the scientist's first position. So we see that the scientist has um, a mass of uh, M and a distance of zero. And now we have to do this relative to the boat, which has a mass of 3m and a distance of L over 2. Although the distance that the scientist eventually travels is um, going to be L, in calculating the distance, we uh, divide by 2 because we're discussing the center, or 1 half. Okay, so that's why we're not uh, multiplying by L, but rather L over 2. So we're dividing that by the mass of the scientist plus the mass of the boat, okay? And that's going to give us 3L over 8. And in case you don't know how this simplifies, well, M times 0 cancels out, and you're left with 3M times L over 2. And uh, in the denominator, you have 4m, so the m's can cancel out, and the 2 obviously is going to come down in the denominator, and you can multiply it out with the 4 that's left over. So 4 times 2 is 8, that's why you have 8 in the denominator, and you're left with only 3l in the numerator, okay? So now what you're going to do is find the center of mass for his second position. And we're assuming that the boat shifted a distance of x prime. That's the variable name we're going to give the boat shift. But it's going to be in a direction opposite the scientists, okay? And this is something that you wouldn't know unless you're familiar with the concept of center of mass. And this is a good algebraic substitution to employ because if we're wrong in our assumption, then we're going to get a negative instead of a positive value for x prime, okay? So m is the um, man's second, well, his mass remains the same, but uh, the distance he travels is going to be l minus x prime, okay? So he travels his full in L, 
and x prime is obviously uh, how the boat is going to shift. Okay. And now we're doing that rel relative to the boat. The boat's mass is 3m. That remains the same. And we're considering its center. So L over 2 relative to the total distance travel minus x prime. That's how much it shifts in the opposite direction all over m plus 3m, okay? So that's going to give you 5 over 8l minus x prime. And just in case you don't know how this simplifies, well, um, we can distribute the m's and combine like terms, and that's going to give us 5 over 2ml minus 4mx prime, okay, over 4m. And so what we can now do to make this easier is distribute the 1 over 4m to both terms. And when we do that, the m's cancel out. And we get 8 in the denominator. And when we do that over here, the m also cancels out. The 4m cancels out. So that's why we're left with 5 over 8l minus x prime. Okay? All right, so let's continue. The boat starts in equilibrium and will remain in equilibrium throughout his walk over here. So the center of mass remains stationary, okay, although he's walking. Therefore, we can set the expressions that we got for the initial position and second position equivalent to each other, okay? So we uh, set them equal to each other, and now we're going to simplify. And that is going to yield x prime is equivalent to L over 4. And the way this simplifies is that we carry the x prime over to the left-hand side by adding it to both sides and getting rid of the negative. And then we just subtract 3 over 8L uh, from the right-hand side. So that's why we get um, 2 over 8L or L over 4. So overall x prime is equal to L over 4. This means that the correct answer choice is going to be the lifeboat shifts by L over 4 in the opposite direction of the scientist's motion. And again, you wouldn't know that uh, it's in the opposite direction if you're not familiar with the concept of center of mass. And also, you wouldn't know to analyze um, the half position in um, calculating the center of mass for the object that isn't initiating the movement, okay? All right, that's that. This is a little complicated, and again, you would have to be familiar to know how to do this and also to understand that movement is opposing between the two objects. All right.